This is Sony Wireless Sports IM featuring active noise cancellation. It has an IPX4 rating meaning it's sweat and water resistance. But you can actually rinse it with soapy water after a sweaty day in the gym. The package comes included with the charging cable, 4 ear tip sizes and also 2 ear fin sizes. Now, the ear fins is unusually small for its size but it fits the loop region securely and if you move your head aggressively despite the small size it fits securely into your ear so it will not dangle off now you may notice that the cable is quite long because it allows the control center to be dangled on the left side like how i'm setting up right now but it's very balanced even though you move aggressively like running it still stays balanced despite being here now I would say the control center is near to your mouth at this distance, you can talk into the microphone, it's crystal clear from the other side that is listening to us without the need of holding it and talking like this awkwardly. So now the control center on one side house the charging port, the power button and the button to control whether you want to on or off the noise cancellation or the ambient mode which we will talk in a little bit. On the flat side is where you have one button for your media playback and call function and your volume rocker. I would say the buttons are nice and clicky and easy to actuate. Now when it comes to the passive sound isolation meaning the hardware alone is superb. You barely can hear people speaking in public. When it comes to the active noise cancellation, it works very well when it comes to cutting the low frequency noises around you but it does not add back that low weird humming noise back into your ear something that you may face on cheaper brands so active noise cancellation is 10 10 good now aside from that there is two ambient mode which you can activate normal means you can hear your surrounding a little bit good for jogging so you will be alert of your surrounding and you will not hit by a bus Another one is voice ambient mode which means it's good during conversation you can hear the other people around you talking and you can talk back without the need of taking out the earbuds. So when you're talking to people just activate it, you talk to people then once they are away you can activate the noise cancellation and move on with your life. Now this baby right here is powered by a pair of 6mm Neodymium dynamic driver on both sides. It uses Bluetooth 4.1 and it also has the NFC function. So if you have multiple device, pairing is easy. Now when it comes to the stable connectivity, it's good up to 11 meters line of sight. The battery is rated to last up to 6 hours. Our test uses the iPhone 6 at the 4th volume bar. Without the active noise cancellation on, we managed to get 8 hours and 10 minutes. With the noise cancellation on, we managed to get 6 hours and 20 minutes. Now for audio quality test. For pop and EDM, I choose TNB OK. The low bass frequency is highly energetic. You can feel it booming into your ears, very punchy. And it's well body, it feels solid. It's one of the best that we heard so far on the wireless sports IM like this. The good news is the low bass frequency does not eat into the vocals and there is no distortion even you bump it slightly higher volume. And the bass fade is butter ultra smooth. The same result with Pia Mia, do it again. The bass is highly energetic, it's punchy, it does not eat into the vocals. And one thing is at the 2 minute and the 5 second mark, the bass fade is smooth. For vocals and instrumentals, we choose Violin the Raindrop. When it comes to the piano and the violin tone, it has the right amount of shine at the high frequency. But it, the overall tone leans towards the warm sounding type rather than my personal preference which is the sharp sharp crystal clear type. But it's still good in my books. I noticed that the bass and the drum slightly overpowers the piano and the violin tone. However, the piano and the violin tone does not sound muffled. Both of them are kept separated. Next is Petatonic C2. When it comes to Mitch Grassi's high pitch male tenor voice, it performs well at the high frequency, a little bit better than the Sony WI500 that we reviewed earlier in this channel. A little bit improved in the highs. When it comes to the group vocals, every diction and pronunciation is crystal clear. You can identify each singer easily. When it comes to vocal beatboxing and humming, it is superb eargasm. And overall, I would say the mid range is mm -mm -mm, very, very good. So this wireless sports IEM is good when it comes to the low bass frequency and almost to the highs right there. Compared to the Sony WI500 that we reviewed earlier, I would say there's a 30% to 40% jump when it comes to audio quality. The battery life is roughly the same, 8 hours plus, and basically it's comfortable in the ear. It's a bargain if, especially if you are looking at active noise cancellation. However, what if I told you that you can pay a little bit more mola? 
to get the 700N right here, which is the next video we're going to review. So comment below what other Sony products we should review next. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in this product, links in the video description. See you guys in that next video, which is the Sony WI700N right here. <laughs> True wireless earbuds. Oh.